Hello dear ones, it's Alice. I am of the stars. I just had a thought today that for people who can't read, um, can't read, say autistic people and people with other sorts of reading disabilities, we could try teaching shorthand or pictograms instead. I think this might have some success because shorthand and pictograms relate to the language of the, uh, the gut brain, the symbolic understanding of the gut brain. So where are certain important functions of the higher brain are lacking or taken over by other functions, uh, it might be possible to train the gut brain in the way of the Neanderthals uh, to, to accomplish a task similar to the task that the, the higher brain accomplishes in, in other people. That's what I think, this being just one example of that. I think it's worth a try. Okay, another thing that might be tried is meta metaphors, because metaphors are remembered very well by the gut brain, and the gut brain would be fully functional. S say it were Jack and Jill went up the hill, which is not, that's a nursery rhyme, but that might do. Uh, then you would have a picture of Jack in the form of a J, and the first sound in the metaphor is J. So from J they could get J, and then they might learn the letter J, you see. The, the thing that I thought might be best is to use that technique called, is it kinesthesia? It's a technique where numbers, for instance, are so associated with some other thing like a color or a sound that the person who has this skill experiences two or three uh, of these at the same time. And I thought that that skill might be developed in people with learning disabilities so that tones might be used to represent letters. And uh, just intuitively I feel that the tones would be like music and music is something that is picked up by the gut brain and so in that way a connection might be made in a different kind of wiring setup for learning disabilities regarding 